it's ten past eight on Tuesday evening. I just want to do a little update from today. Um, me and Ellie have been really busy around here today. You wouldn't think by looking at it that we spent about, I don't know, two or three hours here. And we cleared all of this. Uh, there was loads of plastic, loads of glass, um, various bits and pieces. So I've started making a heap over there, uh, which is to be sorted out at a later date. And then we've got our recycling bag and all this glass that we've pulled out. We saw a frog, which was really exciting. Um, but yeah, we're starting to get it um, get it cleared so that we can turn it into a really nice little garden and play area for Emmy. And we visited the cave, which is when you have to come up here, up through this trail, and the cave is through there. And I posted some pictures of the cave earlier so you could see it. So that's what we've been doing today. Jem's been working today on the laptop. But just as I was putting to Emmy to bed, he just told me he's been clearing the path. So I'll take you up there now so we can go see it. Oh, there's Emmy's swing. Jen put Emmy's swing up today and she was really happy to have her swing back. She's really missed it. We had some of our neighbours come and visit us today and we showed them all around everything. Um, it was really nice because they told us some, some little snippets of history about the place, which was really nice to hear. And we showed them the cavern up here, um, which is up here to the left. And um, he suggested that it might be a well. And we didn't think of that, that it might be a well. Possibly even, you know, a structure built over the top of a spring, perhaps. I think that's a real contender, actually. That might be what it is. So we're going to do a bit more research into that. So here's the path that Jem's been clearing. It's um, This is actually a right of way over our land. So we want to clear it and open it up so that people can come along and walk through here. So this is just the very first phase of clearing it. Ah, look, this is exciting. I've not seen this yet. This is the first time I'm seeing it. Oh yeah, he said there's a bit of a boggy bit. This is the boggy bit. <laughs> so I'm going to walk over this really fast so I don't sink. So bear with me a sec. Just don't walk over really quickly. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yep. I can see how that would be a problem in winter. So we might have to build a little path over that. Wow, isn't this pretty? Light's going a little bit. You can still see. It's really pretty. Gosh, what a lovely path. This path would take you, it takes you actually right through our lower bit of land. And it takes you up to the, uh, the mill, which I've posted pictures of before. There's um, there's the uh, the old mill. Oh, this is quite boggy. So that's where it takes you out to give you an idea. Wow, this is really nice. Apologies in advance if my video cuts out. My mobile phone is just really old and uh, it doesn't have very much memory on it so and it doesn't give me any warning that it's full so it just all of a sudden just cuts out and there's nothing I can do about it so I'm going to have to get a new phone so that I can continue doing videos. <laughs> um, so yeah apologies if it cuts out. I wish there was 
there was more I could do about it, but there isn't at the moment. I have absolutely no idea where our nearest mobile phone shop is. Not a clue. So I have to find one. Wow, look, you can see down there. There's a fallen tree down there. You see it just there. The neighbours were also telling us that um, quite a few of the trees have fallen down over the years here. Some of them have fallen into the river, some of them have fallen into the road. So it's something we're definitely going to have to actively manage so that it doesn't, you know, we don't want to cause any problems, you know, any accidents or anything. And, um, oh, look, here's, we find these a lot. Look, there's a buzzard feather. Or it might be a red kite feather. Isn't it pretty? Sometimes we find quite big ones and we take them home and put them on the nature table. There's a big tree down there. Loads of brambles. Everyone who knows us is going to get a pot of blackberry jam. <laughs> this year because we're going to have so many blackberries so yeah everyone who's watching your Christmas present is going to be blackberry jam <laughs> sorry to spoil the surprise <laughs> oh dear. or anything else that I can make with blackberries <laughs> wow look at this tree this is enormous oh my goodness Wow, and it's come it's gone right down there into the water. Wow, look at that. That's huge. I'm gonna have to go up and round that. I'm not gonna be able to get there's no way I can climb it. I'm gonna have to go up and round. Um Hang on, let me uh, have a little look if I can get up and round. I'm just aware that I'm at seven and a half minutes, so this video may well cut out. And if it does, I apologise and I will try to come back tomorrow and, and video it again if you do cut out. Ah, I think I can see where Jem's scrambled up this bank. And I'll try to do the same with one hand. There we go, made it up. Oh wow, this is... This tree is just enormous. I don't know if you can kind of tell the scale of that tree. Wow. Well, the right of way is supposed to go through there. So it looks like we're going to have to get a chainsaw involved in that one. Look at the roots on that. Wow. Biggin. Right, I'm just going to have to get round here. Through under the roots. Oh look, somebody lives in there. Hey, I wonder who that is. Another thing the neighbours were telling us was that um, they've seen, they've lived here for many years and they walk the river uh, very often. And they've seen a lot of water voles here. So that's, that's pretty special. And they've also, I think I might have mentioned this in my video yesterday, they've also said that they've spotted kingfishers here. Which is really quite special too. So the abundance of wildlife. It's incredible actually. It's really, really, what a special place. That you can see so much wildlife in such a small area. You know, we've got three and a half acres here. 